Just a few months ago, New Jersey's Frank Lautenberg stood before the media to announce that he would not seek a sixth term in the U.S. Senate. I will be continuing on my mission to do the right thing wherever I can. But that mission ended early Monday as the 89-year-old succumbed to viral pneumonia. He was the oldest member of the Senate, also the last surviving World War II veteran. There was a moment of silence in the Senate where black cloth and flowers draped the Democrats' desk. Few people in the history of this institution have contributed as much to our nation and to the United States Senate as Frank Lautenberg. And there was an outpouring from all corners. Even though I know Senator Lautenberg was ill, I'm still taken back by his passing because I thought, having seen him two weeks ago, that he had a lot more time. He was someone who fought and won a lot of battles that today people just take for granted, like a ban on smoking on airplanes or progress for veterans. Even New Jersey's Republican governor praised the man he often tangled with. All of you who decide to get involved in public service should aspire to have the same thing said about you in whatever role that you play. That you were honest, that you were a fighter for the things that you believe in. Christie will appoint an interim successor, but the law is unclear on whether that person will serve out Lautenberg's term or there will be a special election. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.